Okay, let's look at this object here. Uh, I, I want to ex give you a little bit better explanation on uh, true shape and, and true length of lines in these auxiliary views. I'm, I'm noticing a lot, of, a lot of people are having difficulty with it, so I, I hope this will clear it up for you some. Uh, I've got just a simple shape here that's got two primary auxiliary planes. And we're gonna we're gonna rotate these things around so you can kind of see them. The 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 idea of determining if something is true shape or true length is determined by your um, your your viewing direction. If you can imagine, and let's flip this over to the front view. If you can imagine your your line of sight, a line from your eyeball to the object. Okay, and in this case, we're looking at the front view. So your line of sight is perpendicular to the front view. Uh, the front view being the X and the Y plane. Okay, so anything that is perpendicular to that line of sight is going to be true shape and true length. Okay, it, it's kind of hard to describe it, but if you could you know, imagine a line from your eyeball to the plane. If, if it is perpendicular to that plane, then you're dealing with true shape. So this surface is true shape because we're looking at it perpendicular to it. So it's true shape. And the edges that are parallel to that x, y axis are true shape. Okay, so the edges of the surface plane are true shape. Okay. But if we look at the auxiliary plane, it's it's sloping away from us. So we are not perfect, our line of sight is not perpendicular to the surface plane. So it is not true shape. However, those two lines, the, the top and the bottom line, are true length because they are parallel to the x-axis. Okay, so we're still looking perpendicular to that x-y plane, so anything that's parallel to either the x or the y-axis is going to be true length. So these two lines are true length, however, this edge and then this edge of the plane are not true length because they're, they're receding away from us. They are not perpendicular to our line of sight. All right, let's flip up to the top view. <clears throat> so our top view, uh, here we're dealing with, with, an, with, with an X axis that runs this way and a Z axis that runs back this way. So this entire surface here is true shape. And it, when we're dealing with true length, a lot of times the, uh, um, if we've got an arc thrown in there, that may that may affect things a little bit differently. But <clears throat> this surface and in this surface, since they are parallel to that X Z plane, they are true shape. Okay, and we see our two auxiliary planes here. They are not true shape. However, just like before, the lines, the edges, this edge and this edge they are parallel to the Z axis, so they are true length. Okay. And, and then also this line and this line being parallel to the X axis, those are true length. Because we're, we're looking, you got to keep them in, you got to remember, we are looking perpendicular to that X, Z surface plane. Okay. So let's flip up and look at this auxiliary surface. If I rotate this object so that my line of sight is parallel to that auxiliary plane, now that plane is true shape and true size. So all four edges of that of that surface plane is a true shape and size. And just because the the way this part is made, because this edge is parallel to my x-axis, Anything else in this view that's parallel to X is going to be true length, like 
you know, this line is true length, this line is true length, this line would be true length up to the point to where the arc starts. The arc is not true length. Okay. That's one of those things where it gets a little fuzzy on this. But this surface, all four sides are true, true length, and then anything parallel to the x-axis will be true length. So let's look at the other auxiliary plane. Okay, so if we're looking perpendicular to that plane, that plane and its five sides are true shape and true size. Okay, and then these other edges that are parallel to the z-axis, they are also true length. I don't know what else to say about how to how to do this, but if you can take your drawings that you're you're working through in AutoCAD, and if you can, in your mind, rotate that object until you're looking perpendicular to that surface, then anything that's anything there that that surface plane will be true shape and size, and any of the lines that are parallel to one of the primary axes that you're perpendicular to will be true length. So I, I hope this helps you.